light mouse, light mouse, light mouse. And I'm just clicking on that mouse to kill it um, or to, you know, catch that, catch the mouse. Hey, biology people, it's Mr. Pollard. Today, let's talk about camouflage. We're going to take a look at whether or not it increases the fitness of a prey species. So does it allow the prey to better survive if they are being hunted? When we investigate this in class, we're using a simulation called Mouse Hunter. In this simulation, you get to be the predator. The purpose of this game is to show how different phenotypes can make it easier or harder to be found by predators. Let's continue. We are going to be testing on three different ground colors. I will go ahead and start here on black and I'm going to select start. Continue. Light mouse, light mouse, light mouse. And I'm just clicking on that mouse to kill it. Um, so my time here was 4.494 seconds. Mouse, light mouse. Okay. 4.366 seconds. Fairly consistent time compared to my time on the black background. Continue. Let's test on the tan. Start. Continue. Oh man, this is a lot harder. Um, there it is. There it is. There it is. So my time on the tan field was 6.087 seconds. Let's look at a data set. Here we have the column for the best time students reported on the black ground, the brown, and the tan. So we are going to be calculating average, standard deviation, we need to count up the number of data points, and then we'll be calculating the standard error of the mean. Okay, let's calculate an average. Average for the black trial. So I'm going to go in the upper right corner here to functions and find average. And then I'll just scroll with my mouse and I wanna click and drag. And I want to highlight that entire column just not including the row where it's displaying average. So I get an average here of 3.0. I can go here and I can increase or decrease the number of decimal places. All right, so here we can see that we have calculated the average times to catch the light colored mice on the different backgrounds. And we are seeing that it was a lower time to catch the mice on both the black and the brown ground. And it did take longer amount of time on average for students to catch the mice on the tan colored ground. We want to go beyond just calculating an average to answer if there is a real statistical difference between the survival times of the mice on the different backgrounds. Our next step will be to calculate the standard deviation A. I'll do this like we did with average. Click in the cell. I want to go to the functions. Now standard deviation is not going to be a standard one, so we have to go find it. So I'll uh, go down here and I want to find statistical. And then I'll scroll until I get to the S's. And there are a bunch of different types of standard deviation. The one that I want is standard deviation A because this is standard deviation for a sample. So I'll just pop that right here. And then again, I could enter the cells um, or I could click and drag. So I'll do it both ways, right? So let's go ahead, click and drag method. Same way that I did with the averages all the way down to here. Make sure you don't include the average value in what you're selecting. You don't wanna include that. Um, so I get a standard deviation of 1.1. Let's do the same thing here, but we'll enter the cells. This is in column C. So we're going C2 through C44, okay? C2 through C44. So I'll go statistical, standard deviation A, and it's giving me an option here to enter uh, which cell. So C2 through C42, I think, right? 40. And there we go. There is our standard deviation A. So 1.1, 1.0 are the standard deviation values. Um, now here for uh, this cell, let's show one other way of doing this. So I'm going to click in a standard deviation I already calculated. I know that I want to do the same thing in my tan column. 
I'm going to be going D2 through D43. I'll, I'll put D44, right? So I'm going to click here where I calculated the standard deviation for the brown. And in the function uh, box right up here, I'm going to just highlight and control C to copy. And I'm going to drop this. So I'm going to click into this cell where I want the new standard deviation to go. Now, if I paste it in, it's still going to be column C. I need this to calculate for column D. So I'm changing to D and D right here like that. And then enter and I'll change my decimals here. So we get 1.6. To do our calculation of the standard error of the mean, we do need to know our n value. Um, so we're going to use a feature in Google Sheets to count up how many uh, data points we have so that we don't have to do this by hand and that if we are able to backfill in some missing data, the sheet then is going to automatically update and calculate for us. Uh, so here's what I want to do right here. I'm going to go a function. So equals, uh, my function is called count, okay? So I'm going to do count, and once again, um, I'm going to, can I go from the bottom up? That pop-up box was just getting in the way. So I went bottom up, enter, and you can see I have uh, 40 data points. So here would be 42, that one's missing, and you know, this would have been number 41. That one's also missing. So that's why I'm getting 40. Um, and then my final one. So go ahead and grab my function again, and I'll just adjust it for the D column. So not C2, I want D2. Where are you, R2? And we'll go D here. Boom, there we go, 42. So this is my count value. To calculate the standard error of the mean, we take the standard deviation value, we divide that by the square root of the number of observations. Now, because this is 2 SEM, I'm going to add in multiplying 2 in front of all of that. So I want my 2 SEM value to go right here. So I'm going to click in my functions, equals, sorry, not plus, equals, and I'm going to do two times. I'm going to take my standard deviation value. Okay, so I just clicked on that value. It's going to put it in here. Now we're going to divide this by the square root. We're using SQRT. So SQRT. And then we're going to take the value of N right here. So I'm clicking in that. Oh, I didn't like that. I need to go like this. And then I can click there and close my parentheses. Okay, so we do need to use the parentheses. Right, that is my two SEM value. Okay, let's click right in here. This is for the brown field. Put in the function equals two times. And then we're doing the standard deviation, right? And we're dividing by the square root SQRT, and then I need a parentheses, and then I can select my value for my count, my N value, close the parentheses, and enter. There is my 2SEM value. Now this one I'll do a shortcut. Clicking in my C column, this is my equation for calculating 2SEM for the C column. When I put it into the D column, I can click that cell where I want to display my calculated value, paste my function in. Now I need to use D46, not C46. I need to use 1.6 value. So I'm changing this to the D column. And then this one, not C47, but D47. And there we go. And I get a two SEM value of 0 0.5. Thanks for watching everybody. If you found this video helpful, you might want to check out the other one that's up in the right corner of your screen, which will take you through the process of creating a graph.